Israeli and Palestinian delegations are meeting in Jordan Sunday in a rare discussion on political and security issues aimed at restoring calm ahead of the month of Ramadan. The meeting, held in Aqaba, is also being attended by U.S. and Egyptian officials and represents a rare regional summit and the first such meeting between Israel and the Palestinian Authority in years. It comes following a deadly IDF counter-terror operation in Nablus last week and as rockets were fired from Gaza into Israel, and as the Palestinian Authority has cancelled security collaboration with Israel. The coalition is forging ahead with its proposed judicial reform legislation as the Knesset's Constitution, Law and Justice Committee, headed by M.K. Simcha Rothman, convenes Sunday to discuss the so-called override bill ahead of bringing it to a vote later this week. The move comes as some 100,000 Israelis gathered Saturday night for the eighth consecutive week in spots across the country for protests against the planned reforms. Saturday night's demonstrations took a turn for the worse in Tel Aviv as protesters blocked the Ayalon Highway and lit bonfires. The Israel police arrested some 20 people as a result. And now, protesters are planning a day of struggle with expected disruptions and road blockages around the country on Wednesday. The cabinet passed a two-year budget on Friday, setting the budget for this year and the next at 484 billion shekels in 2023 and 2024 and 513 billion shekels in 2024 to 2025. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the budget reflects a free economy with the fiscal and monetary responsibility. He called it the first step in the right direction for the economy and for the good of all its citizens. Among the measures included in the budget are free education from the age of two years old and a significant allotment to the Israeli Defense Forces. But the largest rise was an extra 9 billion shekels for the Ministry of National Security run by National Security Minister Itamal Ben-Gvil.